Okay, my fire signs. Um, let's honestly really pray and hope that this uploads and that the same thing doesn't happen again that just happened with earth signs. So, Aries, Leo, Sag, welcome to your weekly for the week of August 28th. Um, just so you guys know, we are in Venus retrograde still. We are currently in Mercury retrograde and we have six other planets, I believe, that are also in retrograde, right? So what does that mean? What does that mean, Melissa? So what that means is that energy is chaotic. Energy is really crazy right now. Um, for example, electronics are going awry, right? So maybe messages that you're trying to send don't go through or maybe messages you don't want to go through go through. Um, just really, really chaotic energy. And again, everybody's feeling it in different ways. So for example, some of you might be really tired. Some of you may not be tired. Some of you may feel really motivated. Some of you may not be feeling like really motivated, right? So it's different for everybody depending on your chart, which by the way, I always say I do do birth chart readings. They're 50 and it basically um, gives you information kind of like how how you are the way you are, why you are the way you are and stuff like that. So they're really interesting to do and get done. But just so you guys know, I do do those. And um, yeah, let's get into it. All right. So because of the retrograde, I figured we would kind of tap in to see how you guys will be feeling this week. And then I'm going to do a little bit of life oracle, a little bit of tarot. Um, but let's just really kind of figure this shit out. Um, because again, my earth science did not upload. And it's funny because before I record any video, I always go out and clear the cache, right? Like, or the cache, whatever. I always clear it out and I always free up the space and that always works but with good old mercury retrograde it just is the way that it is so let's see my aries leo sag what do we got going on for that one's the one that wants to come out oh yeah i know that i'm never alone so some of you are feeling really lonely this week all right um but again and i know it's corny because the card literally says like i'm never alone you you're not you know what i mean like some of you you could have a sense of community that you can rely on and depend on, right? Because, like, I feel like if some of you don't feel like you have people that you can go to because you feel like people can suck sometimes and all this stuff, like, if you're in that mentality this week, then some of you could really try to just find a sense of community, whether that be online or however way that may look like to you, right? Like, maybe just, you know, some of you, uh, you know, if you want to go out somewhere, like, maybe if you have a dog, maybe you go to, like, a dog park or something, like... However that may look like for you, just know that you really truly are never alone, right? Like there really is a sense of never really truly being alone, right? Because first of all, we have our faith, we have our spirituality. So like we never really truly are alone. But what I'm also getting for some of you is that don't force yourself to be alone, right? Like even if, you know, people can suck, there has to be one person that you guys feel like maybe you can talk to, that maybe you can kind of like rely on, maybe just express your feelings to. So if some of you feel like you don't have that, it's time to start thinking about that this week, right? It starts, it's time to start thinking like, well, why? Why don't I have that? Is there something that I need to work on maybe this week, right? Because the beauty of Mercury Retrograde is that even though, yes, she can suck because she is a BRTCH when it comes to electronics and things uploading and miscommunication, you know, like all that stuff. The also amazing thing about it is that it forces you to kind of reflect on things within yourself and in your life, like in, in your surrounding energy, you know, like what can I do? What needs to change? What do I need to change? Like, it's really just a time for self-reflection and really trying to figure out what things need to go and then what space you're going to make for new things to come in. All right. So just keep that in mind, guys, this week as you're going through your week, because some of you definitely are in that lonely space, right? The heart chakra is, you know, definitely blocked there, but it doesn't have to stay that way and it doesn't have to be that way. All right. Let's see what else. Where are my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sag. Why do I feel like I said air signs earlier? I don't think I did, but why do I feel like I did? I don't know. I don't know. Some of you could have air in your chart. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, which is a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, but I definitely felt like for some reason some air energy coming through here. Yeah, see? getting out of that negative thinking getting out of that frame of mind right uh just being very mindful and aware of the negative thoughts that you are thinking yeah some of you could be feeling really super tired this week too like i said for everybody's going to be different again like i said some of you could be feeling very energetic some of you could be feeling really super tired but 
those of you that are feeling like energetic or feeling like you can't rest, you have to allow your body to rest. Like you have to just allow yourself to kind of flow with the energy and just go with the flow of it. Because if you don't, it's just going to fuck with you. Like it's just going to mess with you. All right. The, the negative thinking really needs to go out. <laughs> you know, like you really have to stop thinking so negatively sometimes when it comes to certain things and really just let your body rest. And what I'm getting for some of you is that those of you that are really truly not resting what happens is when you don't give your body the rest that it needs why do you think you start thinking and start spiraling and start thinking negatively and just start thinking all kinds of crazy things right why do you think that is it's because you're not really truly giving your mind and body the rest that it needs because not only does your body need to rest but your mind needs to rest right you have to shut down the mind in order to process through these negative thoughts and negative thinking that's happening all right some of you need to work on your bad habits this week right whether that be smoking for some of you overeating drinking whatever again however that looks like to you some of you really need to kind of like self-reflect on the bad habits right because what i get from a lot of you is that sometimes when you guys develop these bad habits sometimes it can spiral and you can go so deep into a bad habit and then not know how to pull yourself out that then obviously the rest of your life starts to get affected and then what i find hysterical is that then you get upset at the way that your life has turned out, but then you don't really truly look at yourself and take the accountability that it's your fault. <laughs> it's you. You started it by letting the bad habit spiral out of control, right? Because a habit is a habit, but you don't want it to turn into like an addiction, if that makes sense, right? So for some of you, you really need to start kind of thinking about these bad habits and really toning them down before they do spiral out of control and then it affects the rest of your life because you don't want that. I don't love that for you. I don't love that for you. Yeah, see, some of you are with this lonely thing because some of you are not talking to people. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Some of you are not talking to people and there's an issue there. So make sure that you're kind of thinking about it and kind of reflecting about that this week and seeing what's going on within, all right? What else for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sag. Some of you have like some really big changes that are happening too. I just picked that up. So I don't know uh, who that particularly is for, but some of you do have some big changes that are happening. Like currently, like some of you have some changes that are currently happening. Um, huh. Aries Leo Sag. Isn't that funny? There we go. I was like, what the F? Not those. Those are not the ones that wanted to come out. Okay. Yeah, see, basically, look, letting go of things, right? Walking away from things, letting go of things, uh, kind of seeking that renewal, right? Like seeking that self-discovery within yourself in order to really, truly get past that in order for new things to happen and come through here. It's like, it's, it's all there. You know, it's literally all there. Like really, truly reflecting, thinking about what's happening, thinking about what you possibly are doing as well that's affecting the negativity in your life, right? Really trying to sit and think of things that can change. Things that you can finagle, right, so that you can start to feel better because the only one that's going to be allowed to feel better or make yourself feel better is yourself because you guys are literally trapped within your own mind this week, okay? So making sure that you're resting, right, paying attention to those bad habits and not letting them spiral out of control and figuring out why you're feeling this lonely feeling when you're not really trying to depend on people, you know, like you're not trying to lean on anybody because I think it's important that somebody at least always have one person that you could like call, text, or, you know, be a shoulder to cry on type of thing. You know, like there always at least has to be someone, you know, whether it be through texting and maybe you don't wanna be really talking or face to face, like that's okay. But even maybe through like a quick text or something, something has to be done for you guys this week so that you get out of that negative thinking, that lonely energy, and just really trying to listen to yourself about things that need to be let go and things that you have to walk away from and really trying to have this self-discovery moment so that you can have and actually bring about these manifestations that want to come through, like this good energy, you know, like stability, finances, and just really good energy. All right. So... I love you guys and I will see you guys next week.